I think there have been situations where you have prepared for a competitive exam fully like you have practiced the previous year questions you have done multiple revisions and you have also given the mock test but still you are not getting the desired result so yes i am dr mayu khachra a first year dermatology resident and in this video i am going to tell you the top 7 mistakes that you should avoid while preparing for any competitive exam be it neat ug j mains neat pg i ni set or fmge so let's start the video first one is not following a finer criteria now finer is an abbreviation as many of you have studied in community medicine finer stands for feasible interesting and all the three components you have in your exam so that is not much important that is the novel ethical and relevant so this three you have but for setting a goal it should be feasible also means which you could achieve that is a achievable goal see if i am standing in my grand test with a rank of 3000 and 4000 nearing about the exam so my goals should not be that i need to get the rank one only it should be in the top 1000 rank because if you aim for that much higher in other grand test you would get in 2000 rank then you would feel demotivated and that would reduce your quality of studying and there starts a vicious cycle which could lead to failure finally and i is interesting means you should have a tangible goal okay not that i need a rank of top 10 a rank of top 100 have a tangible goal with which you can relate to like i need dermatology from this college or this top colleges then it is having an association a particular target and it would make your goal an interesting goal like you want admission in aims delhi like this you should have a targeted goal so that it becomes interesting and makes the process also interesting now the top second mistake is not following a concise note see our human memory has a certain capacity we can't remember everything we read if we are reading for the first time then consider that we would remember 10% like this if we do 5 to 6 readings we can remember up to 70% so we have to select a source which is revisable which we can revise multiple times that is at least five times you should revise in neat ug you have the concise ncert books only so there is no requirement of making it more concise but in case of neat pg if you see then you should not follow the subject wise notes after first or second reading you should follow the revisable notes just before the examination because you can revise it multiple times now number 3 is not reviewing the grand test or the mock test properly see giving a grand test or a mock test is not only to assess your standing in front of the competition or to assess your rank but also it is to assess your weak areas and where you are getting mistakes again and again so that you don't repeat your mistakes in this case you should have a review of your grand test properly and if you want to know how to review your grand test and everything related to the grand test i am giving the uh, one of my top videos in the i button so watch it and follow the advices that i have given in that video number 4 is not practicing active recall if you see many researches you can find out that active recall helps to boost memory now how can you do active recall it is by solving q bank or giving a grand test or you can teach your friend regarding the topic or you can try to memorize the topic after reading it that how much i am recalling and the points you are not able to recall then you go back to the notes see the notes and see what you have forgotten okay like this you would have everything in memory or if you just uh, read it out you won't have anything in your memory 
hardly 20 to 30 percent but by active recall you can get up to 80 percent and you can recall better in the exam because you are practicing the technique of recalling in a lifetime now the fifth one is not taking breaks see breaks are extremely important if you see major machines also that are turned off after a certain period of working because after that it could get heated up or it could cause damage to the machine and wear and tear of the machine or some kind of malfunction so if we also don't take breaks it could lead to malfunctioning of our system also it could lead to ill health and in turn reduce the efficiency of preparation so you can do pomodoro technique and every day you should have a fixed time yourself time for relaxation i am not meaning that you should use social media that time because it also increases the stress do pursue your hobbies do listen to light music and after 14 to 15 days that is in two weeks you should go for an outing with your friends if you are having girlfriend or boyfriend go out with them or spend time with your parents so that you could recircuit your mind and prepare afresh with higher efficiency the sixth point that is not being over or under confident in bhagavad gita it is also said that you should do your karma you should not have the fear of failure or you should not also be elated when you get the success you should be in a state of tranquility think that you are here to do the karma and with wholeheartedly you would do your hard work you should not think of the result because thinking of the result brings on anxiety tension of the future and it turn hampers your preparation so you should think about your preparation not of the future then only you won't be overconfident also or underconfident also now the last and the most important point is that cutting down on your health so during the preparation we try to focus just on the preparation and we neglect our health like it happens ki hum log hostel mein hai to mere ko canteen jane tak kabhi samay nahi hai कुछ भी आ, कोई जूनियर को बोल देता हूँ लेके आ जाएगा जंक फूड लेके आ जाएगा या फिर ऑर्डर दे देता हूँ जोमेटो में वो आ जाएगा डिलीवरी देके चला जाएगा मेरे को टाइम नहीं लगेगा बट दिस आर द लिटिल थिंग्स दैट यू शुड फोकस ड्यूरिंग योर प्रिपरेशन दैट वुड चेंज द पाथ ऑफ योर प्रिपरेशन इन द बुक ऑफ एटोमिक हैबिट ऑल्सो द ऑथर मैंशन दैट स्मॉल चेंजेस लाइक चेंजिंग द डाइट चेंजिंग द ड्रेस मटेरियल और द साइकिल मटेरियल ऑफ द इंग्लिश साइकिलर्स they turned from being a choker to a world champion so small things really matter if you perfect 1% of your small things and health is a very important thing then you can get the 100% of the result in health another important thing is that we try to cut down on your sleep okay sleeping 7 hours is extremely important because during sleep we have the in rem sleep that is the non rapid eye movement so in nrem stage 2 and stage 3 our memory is transferred from hippocampus to the cerebral cortex for long term memory so if you are compromising on your sleep you won't have long term memory of everything okay and if you sleep less also the next day you don't wake up afresh and you have some tiredness that could affect your next day preparation also so try to sleep for seven to eight hours at least and also try to do exercises daily because it not only takes care of your health but also it takes care of your memory it helps to boost the memory power and the concentration power so you could perform in the exams better so Practice any kind of exercise, any kind of light workout, HIIT or even meditation and yoga for boosting your memory. Oh, I think I have forgot the last mistake that is not following my advice and not subscribing to my channel. So do subscribe. If you like my video, do hit the like button and share it with your friends who are preparing for any competitive exam. It is a very helpful video, I hope. And 
it could boost your preparation so all the best and bye bye